Hello everyone, welcome to another video as we complete our inventory. In this video, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the Speed Champion sets from 2020. Now these sets were released in January of 2020 and they retired at the end of the year uh, 2021. And there was actually three of these smaller sets available during that year. Uh, and the three were, we have the 1985 Audi Sport Quattro S1, which we have there at the bottom. And then we also have the Ferrari F8 Tributo, which is a tribute, this means tribute. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. No, actually, I'm sorry, I missed the third one, which was the Nissan GTR Nismo. And unfortunately, I don't think I have any of those. Um, I looked through all of the boxes. I did think I had, I thought I had one, but I can't seem to find it. So if I locate it, I'll add a picture at the end of the video. If not, then it looks like I was able to snap just these two. All right, I'm going ahead and jumping in. I'm going to start with the Audi. This is a 1985 Audi sport quattro s1 and this vehicle i ended up with a whole lot of them because well for one thing i was new in the lego investing space and yeah actually that's probably the only reason so this is set number seven six eight nine seven and it's 250 pieces even and yeah this set actually hung around well after retirement into, I don't know, probably March of 2022, you'd be able to find this, you know, three, four months after retirement, and there might still be some on the shelves today. So while it's a pretty neat race car, I don't know that uh, it's the most attractive vehicle. So I believe I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I have ten of these, and yeah, it was really purchased. I don't necessarily like the design so I don't know maybe one day some you know Audi fans or something might want these in the future but like I said as of now there was really no demand for these particular vehicles now on the contrary the Nissan GTR especially close to retirement so November and December of 2021 these you could not find in stores, you could not find online, especially around Christmas time without having to pay a significant premium. So this is set number 76895, 275 pieces even, Ferrari F8 Tributo. And again, being a Ferrari, I think that just the picture speaks for itself. Just the picture speaks for itself. This is truly a beautiful set. Both of these sets can be had or could be had for $20 at the time. That was the going price for these smaller Speed Champion sets. And you can see here there's the back as well as the side view there. And then you can see how it compares to the actual vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and try it so I can put these next to each other. Let's see how well this works. Okay, mm, pretty good, I'm trying to get the glare out. Okay, there we go. So you see to the left, the actual vehicle, and then to the right, you can see the Lego. So they did a pretty good job trying to keep some of the lines the same. You can see the air duct that they have there in the middle of the hood. See what they tried to do with the lights. See what they did with that front, uh, maybe called front spoiler lip, as well as the detail that they gave to the wheels. So, and the lines on the side. So, very, very, very nice set. Okay, these, like I said, very hard to get a hold of, and they could be had for $20. I want to say I bought them, though, for $16. Now, the Speed Champion sets, I believe, are on the list to be increased moving forward with the increase that's planned in September, uh, what's it, August or September of 2022. A lot of the sets are going to be increasing, and I believe the Speed Champions are going to either $24 or $25. So now might be the time, I suppose, if you're interested in some of the Speed Champions that are already out there, maybe pick up a few of them, but anticipate that those prices may be going up with the new price um, increases in August of this year, 2022. 
All right, so as always, I appreciate your time. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the inventory and then we will continue our inventory journey. As always, this is Dr. Diffin signing off. Bye-bye.